Hello, and thanks for joining me today. We're going to talk about a new kind of health insurance. It's health insurance you can actually afford to have and you can afford to use. It's through the Small Business Association of America, which was founded in 1984. It actually is a, is a nonprofit corporation based out of Washington, D.C., and it has one mission and that is to help its members nationwide save as much money as possible on a multitude of expenses. Here are a few. You can get discounts on office equipment leasing, discounts on car rentals, you can even buy your cars at wholesale. There's a travel club, roadside assistance, there's discounts on prescriptions, vitamins, nutritional supplements, it comes with a $5,000 accident injury coverage, 24-hour nurse hotline. There's actually CallMD, which allows you to literally call a doctor. If they can diagnose you over the phone, they can actually write you a prescription without having to go in and see them. And you get three of those visits a year at no charge. They can write prescriptions on anything that's not a controlled substance like Vicodin. And there's a lot more benefits as well. When we talk to our members, and survey what is important to them. Oftentimes now they talk about health insurance and they say it's expensive. In fact, the average deductible today is a $5,000 deductible and the reason is because people need to be able to afford the premiums. The problem is they never reach their deductible. So people feel like they don't have insurance they can use, they just have a premium instead. So what's the solution? Well, we created a plan built for our members' needs, and then we found an insurance company to underwrite it. The name of the company we use is United Teachers Associates, and it is administered and reinsured by Cigna, one of the largest health companies in the United States. This is a unique plan. It's not your standard major medical plan. This is called a specified benefit plan. And unlike major medicals, this is designed to help you the most, not the insurance company. You see, it pays a specified benefit when you go get service. And usually that means that there's going to be no copay when you go to your family doctor. When you go in the hospital, you have a choice of either a zero or $500 deductible. There's the $5,000 accident rider and much more. So how the plan works is you get an insurance card, okay, and the network that we use is called the MultiPlan Network. It's one of the largest networks in the country. Now you can go to any doctor that you want, but if you use doctors in the network, you're going to get to take advantage of the discounted bills. When you go to get your care, you simply show your card. They will send the bill to the insurance company where the bill is repriced to the contracted rates, then the insurance company pays first dollar. You don't have to pay first, they do. If there is any excess charge beyond what the company pays, then you are responsible for that. If the company pays more than the bill, then they'll actually write you a check for the difference. Let me talk about how the plan actually works. There's two different plans available, Plan A and B. Plan A, when you go into the hospital, has a zero deductible, and it will pay $1,000 a day toward the room and board cost. Plan B has a $500 deductible, and it pays $2,500 a day to the room and board cost. If you go into an ICU, they pay each pay an additional $500 a day. And option A will pay $50 a day toward the admitting doctor. Option B pays $75 a day. Both plans will pay 150% of the Medicare eligible charge if you have surgery. Just so that you know, Typically, a contracted rate for a doctor is about 135% of the Medicare charge. We're going to pay 150%. If there's an assistant surgeon, we're going to pay them 20% of the surgeon's fee. 
if there's an anesthesiologist involved, we're going to pay 20% of the of the surgeon's fee. When it comes to your outpatient care, these plans are identical except for one difference. Both plans are going to pay the doctor visit $75. Now typically that means that your family doctor is going to be covered completely. If you go see a specialist it may cost you $20-$25 for that visit. You also get an extra $35 if it's a wellness visit. For example you go in to get a flu shot. It's going to pay an additional $35. The emergency room visit is the only thing that's different on your outpatient care. You see under option A, it pays $125. Option B, it pays $250. And you and I both know that doesn't come anywhere near covering an emergency room. So here's what I call this. I call this a sickness plan. Because if you get sick and it's over the weekend or at night, go to a walk-in clinic or an urgent care center see them. This will help handle that bill. If you break something, you break a leg or you've got a severe gash or you've injured yourself, then the accident policy is going to come into play and you can go to the hospital emergency room. We also cover preventive care, things like pap smears, mammograms, x-rays. We'll pay a hundred dollars a day toward x-rays every day of the year. We also cover MRIs, and PET scans, CT scans, and we'll even pay $150 a day for home health when you have to have a nurse come to see you because you can't get out to see a doctor. Let me give you an example of how the plans actually work in real life. I'm going to compare it to a mythical major medical plan. Under a major medical plan, let's say you go into the office visit for a routine physical. Well, without insurance, a doctor is probably going to charge you at least $165. The reprice bill for a physical probably is around $110. Let's assume you have a copay on your major medical plan of $40. Then there's lab work that's done. List price is probably $237. Repriced down to about $33. Your copay for lab work, if you're on a major medical, is going to be at least $25. So, in terms of the reprice bill, which is what the major medical company is going to be concerned with, that bill is $143. You paid $65 in copays. Then the insurance company picked up the remainder, which in this case was $78. On our hybrid plan, on either option A or B, we'll look at the same numbers. Let's say you go in for an office visit, the normal price is $165, repriced to $110. We're going to pay $75 to that office visit. Then let's say the lab work was $237, repriced to $33. We're going to pay $35 for the wellness visit. So the insurance company actually pays the first $110. The reprice bill was $143 you pay the remainder, which in this, this case is $33 or half of what you would have paid on the major medical plan. Let's say you go in because you're sick. You might have the flu. The office visit, doctors normally charge about $130, repriced to $65. Your copay on a major medical is still probably $40. Let's say you had a couple of x-rays because you might have fluid in the lungs. List price $180, repriced to $110. You have a copay of $25. So again, you paid $65. The repriced bill was $175. So the insurance company paid $110. On our hybrid plan, again, the same numbers. List price $130, repriced to $65 for the doctor. The insurance company is going to pay $75 even though the bill is $65. That's right, we pay all of the specified benefit. When you look at the x-rays, list price $180, repriced to $110, we pay $100 a day toward x-rays. So we're going to pay $100. The repriced bill is $175. The amount the insurance company paid was $175. What did it cost you for that office visit? Nothing. 
Let's take a look at a hypothetical hospital stay. Let's say you went into the hospital for three days for gallbladder surgery. Okay. Under the regular price, this is the list price, let's say three day stay comes down to about $31,000. Reprice to the contracted rate is probably around $12,000. If you have a major medical plan, and you're, one of the most popular plans is the $5,000 deductible, you're going to pay $5,000 and then you're going to pay typically 20 percent of the difference all the way up to the 11845 in that case that would mean an extra one thousand five hundred and sixty nine dollars for a grand total of six thousand five hundred and sixty nine dollars on a typical major medical plan on our option a which has a zero deductible and it pays a thousand dollars a day in the hospital it's going to pay three thousand for the room and board it's going to pay the admitting doctor three times the fifty dollars a day so that's hundred and fifty it's going to pay whatever the surgeon the assistant surgeon and the anesthesiologist bill is okay up to the contracted rate that's ten thousand one hundred and fifty dollars the insurance company pays first your bill the reprice bill was eleven eight forty five you're gonna pay the difference which in this case would be one thousand six hundred and ninety five dollars that's a big difference a lot less than the six thousand five hundred with the typical major medical but now let's look at option B under option B we pay twenty five hundred dollars a day in the hospital so three days would be seventy five hundred three days at seventy five dollars for the admitting physician is two twenty five we pay the same surgeon, assistant surgeon, and anesthesiologist fees. So that comes out to a total of $14,725 that the insurance company paid. But the bill was only $11,845. This plan has the $500 deductible. So it takes $500 out of that difference, and then it will literally write you a check for any remaining overage which in this example was two thousand three hundred and eighty dollars now people say I've never heard of an insurance company paying me to get sick well just consider it it's like one of the plans like the duck which pays you when you get sick only it's built into this plan now most of the time people actually don't even go in the hospital for surgery anymore in fact Outpatient surgeries comply with almost 80% of all surgical procedures. This page here shows you the average cost for the top 10 most performed outpatient procedures. You can see that the charge here, as stated by the Healthcare Blue Book, on average around the country, for example, in the gallbladder is $2,691. Average charge. If you were on option A, we would pay $2,116 of that bill. You would owe $575. If you had a $5,000 major medical plan, you'd be paying that entire bill. And so on with each plan that we have, or each procedure down the page. Now under option B, we're paying more. Why? The difference is this we're going to pay the same daily hospital room rate to the outpatient surgery facility so in option B we're paying twenty five hundred dollars to that facility instead of a thousand that means in every example here not only would you not have a bill you would get a refund in the mail so you can see how this plan really is a lot more affordable to use get back with the agent who showed you this plan and they can tell you the pricing and you're gonna find that typically you're gonna save in all likelihood somewhere around thirty to fifty percent off of your current major medical plan so I wanna thank you for your attention and have a good day